Hello and welcome back to Gaming with Mim. Today we are playing Detective Pikachu. Alright, and we are looking for an invisible Pokemon. So, let's see. Okay, let's figure it out. Testimony that tells us when it got onto the bridge? All right, let's see. People who entered and exited, only Tim and two crew members after the captain took the suitcase to the bridge. He switched with the captain, but there was nothing strange. The wet floor, when leaving the room after reporting to the captain, the floor was wet. Pokemon suddenly appeared from Brown's balloon. The drink that was on the table suddenly vanished. Okay, so... I don't know. Is it this one? Yes. Okay, good. That's it. The invisible Pokemon fell into the pool. And then, it came in with a crew member while it was so still wet. wet. Got that? That's why the floor was wet. When okay. Left. And that's why well, Nose Pass got out splashed, out too. The mask. After the mask disappeared, was there testimony that helps us figure out how? Yeah, I think there was. Only Tim and two crew members. Okay, he switched with the captain, but there was nothing strange. Pokemon suddenly appeared from Rian's balloon. Wait. I think it's when he was steering. Oh no, that's not it. No, nope. that's not right. Oh, it was stolen. Is it this? Because he was right. invisible. Somehow a drink disappeared. That must be caused by the invisible Pokemon too. Mm-hmm. I'll bet that anything that Pokemon puts in its mouth becomes invisible. Which means Oh the mask is in his mouth. There you go, Pikachu. I didn't think about that. Now we know how the crime was committed. All we need to figure out is exactly which Pokemon the invisible Pokemon is. I wonder if it could be in Amelia's notes. I said that, right? Okay. Right. Hand. Right. Her hand dropped Pokedex. Let's see if she'll let us have a look. To the lounge. Alright, to the lounge. We're getting our exercise in. Running back and forth between the lounge and the deck and the lounge and the deck and the bridge and the lounge and the deck. <laughs> All over the place we're running. Okay. We find, we have to find Amelia. Yeah, there she is. Amelia, can we have a look at your hand-drawn Pokedex of yours? Of course. Why? We are close to solving the mystery of the suitcase. Hey, Tim. Here it is. This must be the Pokemon we're after. <gasps> Kecleon, sneaky and stealthy. That sounds right. He's sneaky and stealthy. Oh, he looks so cool. You're right. I bet if I bet it's this Kecleon here. Well, does it say it can be invisible? What about Kecleon? I don't know for sure yet, but I think it may have the mask. Let's see what it says about this Pokemon. It can become invisible. There we go. But it can't hide the zigzag pattern on its belly. It will reveal itself if it gets surprised. This could be useful. Tim, gather everyone. Okay. Are we going to surprise him? Who has a Kecleon? Everyone, I have solved the mystery. <laughs> I knew we could count on you, Tim. Oh, thanks, Mr. Tim. This. Right. You got this. You know who did it. Okay. Who stole the mask? Kecleon? The one responsible for the missing item is a certain Pokemon. Pokemon? But how? The captain assured us that he didn't see anything. Right. Huh? Nothing suspicious entered or left the room. That's right. I'm afraid that you must be mistaken. No. I'm not mistaken at all. Nope. I'll tell you exactly how it went down. Okay. This specific Pokemon can make itself invisible, so the captain didn't see it. It snuck into the room with the captain and Nosepass and committed the crime while they were distracted. Then, what happened to my bag? The culprit 
Shepard still has your bag, too. And is here in this room, as part of this group. And so is the mysterious Pokémon. Tim, look carefully. You see it, right? I see it! I'll tell you the culprit. You, Gino! What? Is this a joke? I don't know any mysterious Pokémon. Absolutely ridiculous. Yes, you do. It's Kecleon, and it's right beside you. Uh, boo. Yeah. <laughs> boo. Oh, oh, man. The mask, the ticket, so and the note. Joke? I don't know this Pokemon. And what is the mask doing here? Still trying to play innocent, aren't you? Hmm. Tell him what we know, Tim. We know about a secret auction. Gino, you boarded this ship for a reason. To achieve your goal, isn't that right? I don't know what you mean. I came for a vacation, not to achieve a goal. You sure about that? I think the reason you're here is for the secret auction. A secret auction? What are you talking about? <laughs> right here's the proof. A list of all the items offered. It has the Henri Brothers recipe book. Oh, Henri. <laughs> this is I what you that. really wanted, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You would love you to have that. You said earlier? You were close to recreating the recipes of the Henri Brothers? Recipes that were lost forever? Mm-hmm. That was a lie. You were counting on getting the recipe book, weren't you? How did he know he could outbid everybody else? What was I supposed to do, huh? I ran out of ideas for new menus. I need to amaze my customers. And that's a lot of pressure, all right? So you stole the mask? You were a genius chef. I never expected you to do something like this. No matter how talented you are, you'll get rusty if you stop trying to improve. Back to washing dishes for you. Oh, <laughs> Pikachu. So Gino was the culprit, huh? All right, I guess that case is closed. Check. Mark is solved on there. There you go. All right, we are a good team. Solve that mystery. That was a good one. There's still more for us to do. We have to infiltrate the auction. Catch Keith. I didn't expect there to be a secret auction on this ship. I doubt I could get in wearing a hoodie. You know what? I'll go investigate. I brought a dress for conducting the interviews. What? I can't let you go alone. It's too dangerous. Don't worry about me. I'm used to getting scoops. I don't know. Hmm. If only we could get past the dress code. It sounds like it's a suit you need. Mm -hmm. Maybe my husband's jacket would work for you. Ooh. Are you sure? But it must be very special to you. Oh, it's fine. I'm happy to help you out. Oh, That's so she's nice so nice. Look at you, Tim. Yeah, I feel like that's better. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. I'm ready to go. Wow. Looking good, Amelia. Tim, look. <laughs> uh, 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 oh, Tim's got a suit on. Really great, Amelia. Thanks, Tim. You look pretty sharp, too. That's nice to hear, huh? The suit's more classy than you are, man. <laughs> oh, you're a very handsome young man. Oh. oh, yes. Pikachu, this is for you. What uh, is it? What's that? It's a bow tie! A bow tie Pikachu, for Pikachu? Miss Rose, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see Pikachu in a bow tie. Okay, we're all set. Let's go capture Keith. He's going to be surprised to see you guys, huh? Oh, man. That's going to be interesting. Okay, let me out. I think we can just go, right? I'm thinking. Let's get going. Yes. <laughs> All right. Oh, there he is wearing his bow tie. What do you think? Who's the classy one now? Like a bow tie isn't too tight for him. But we only have one oh, ticket, right? It's all in the name. Brother, brother, brother. Oh, what's up? Is there some kind of problem? Crocker, 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 crocker. 
I don't like you. Why would you say I look shady? I it's not true. You're very rude. <laughs> I think everybody probably going into this secret auction is going to look shady. Tim, show them our tickets. Here you are. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right. Yes. Cool. We are in. Mm-hmm. See, you didn't want to let Pikachu in, but now you have to. So he has a ticket. All right, we're going to go ahead and end this video here because I think it's going to get really exciting walking into the show or the silent auction or whatever it is. Anyway, the secret auction. All right, so check back next time, and it should be really cool. See you soon. Bye.